Hello everyone, my name's Crystal Lily and this is my daughter Bloom. I've got two little girls, so we've been through birth twice now, two very different births, so I feel like we're in a good place to talk to you about your survival guide for your first seven days with your newborn. Firstly, my top tip is definitely be your own advocate and the doorbell is not your friend. So if you feel like you are exhausted and tired, not up to visitors, that's entirely your right. I think you've earned a little bit of a break. Secondly is snacks. So I found it really difficult first time round um, to stay on top of being hydrated and fed while trying to feed um, bottles or breastfeeding. Both of them really take it out of you. So I set up a little snack station upstairs and by the bed where I spend most of my time. I'd rather stay in bed than run around with a newborn and a toddler. A top tip for you is order yourself a big bulk order of frozen homemade meals. A friend of ours did this for us when Bloom arrived and it was such a helpful gift. It filled our freezer up and we didn't have to worry about meal times for us and my eldest who's four. So we could all eat together really quickly and it only take half an hour or so in the oven. We're constantly looking for different ways to keep our life easier throughout the day, especially with two little ones now. Water wipes have always come in handy, whether it's wiping faces, wiping bums, or wiping hands. I also noticed on the Water Wipes website that their wipes have been proven to be purer than cotton wool and water. They're also 100% plastic free, 100% biodegradable, and made with purified water and a drop of fruit extract. So all the good stuff, none of the nasties. Next up, 100% be lazy. <laughs> This is a good tip and one so many people told me my second time round and it's safe to say I barely moved from the bedroom after giving birth to Bloom. It was great. I basically passed my firstborn over to my partner. <coughs> Bless you. Oh dear. And I could spend that time getting to know my newborn, feeding on demand, napping, resting up and really healing, ready to tackle that first day at home with both of them on my own. And my last tip would be enjoy it, enjoy every second because before you know it, you have a seven month old baby and the newborn bubble is gone. So no matter how hard it gets, no matter how many times you cry, it will be gone so quickly. So just soak in every second you get with your adorable little newborn and congratulations. Bye bye.